Howdy up there, this is the CNC dude, uh, down in sweltering Florida here. It's uh, June 30th, Friday, getting ready to head north to New Hampshire for a couple of weeks, and then attending the National HTEC CNC Machining Educators Conference at Fort Smith, Arkansas, in the third week of July, fourth week of July. Anyway. I'm doing a preview here of a of a video series that I'm just doing a a onesie, and after that, uh, I'll just keep on adding on more. But we're using a system here of assembly. So we got uh, lathe parts here. We're going to make one of the lathe parts, and then we'll uh, catch you up on how to finish all the lathe parts later. We're going to do number one here. This is the base, and they got a spacer, and then we have an end cap. Oh, I'm sorry, and we're doing end cap for us, number three. And then we'll work our way through the rest of the assembly. So nice little assembly. Uh, uses about inch and three-quarter material or larger as far as lathe uh, capacity goes. Whether you're chucking the material or you're going to bar feed it. So, okay, where are we going to go here with this? Let's go with the blueprint. Blueprint. All right, here is our blueprint. And we're going to design this first and then do the, the cam section. So, we, in the Designing world is called CAD, Computer Aided Design, and uh, the CAM is computer aided. We used to call it machining, but now it's computer aided manufacturing. And then CNC would be computer numerical control, which they used to call in the old days numerical control, which was a tape machine, and it just literally ran the codes off the tape and now the computer now stores a program so that's the CNC part so CNC machining is like computer assisted machining cam so so we got to come up with uh, how to do this it's a typical lathe part round part um, let's do the drawing first let's go to our fusion here's our fusion here I'm going to go over a couple of I'll go over a couple of settings later on. But I just want to kind of get the drawing out of the way. So if you have a print of the drawing or a dual monitor is a good way to do it, like dual monitor on the other screen, and you can draw or have a copy of the blueprint. So I'm going to put my blueprint on the other page. What the heck did I do with it now? Right there. I'm going to put this on this page over here. Oops. Sorry, drag it over here, and now I can start working on it. Okay, we're going to start with solid, and we're going to do design. So we're going to put create sketch. You got to start with sketch. As you press the green plus button, bink, it's prompting you. It says select plane or plan of face. Now there's nothing on there, and this is called the home view, which is slightly tilted. I prefer to use the top plane, which is this with this one, and this are both the top plane. All right, got to press, select plane. Now it reorients so the top is facing me. I'm gonna draw the lathe part like from the side, and we're gonna re we call it revolve in order to make a solid object. But we got to do our sketching first. I'm gonna make a line. All right, I'm gonna go down to here. Right where this intersection is, as notice it turns blue right there. I'm going to go this way. I could put it any direction I want, but I want it to be lined up with this line. Notice it snaps to that. I'm going to go this way, and notice it's highlighted blue down there. It's prompting me to put in a dimension. I could do that right now. And this part is 2.5 inches long. 2.5, zero, zero, hit, enter. Now it's locked in. Okay, locked in. Now I'm going to loosely, let me pull up my blueprint again here. 
Oops. Opened up my wrong file. I'm going to actually draw this profile here. And I'm only going halfway, so we're just making part of the profile. All right, so I'm going to pick line again. I'm going to start down here at the intersection. I'm going to go straight up somewhere around there. I'm going to go this way and kind of do like you were like using a pencil, like you were trying to draw this. And then I'm just rolling the wheel here so I can zoom this in and out. I'm going to go over to about here and then hit OK. OK, I'm going to hit Escape. I'm going to do Zoom. Actually, if I do double click, it'll recenter itself. There it is. Now I can roll this out again. All right. Looks like I forgot that line there. Let me add that in. I don't think there's a line there. Yeah, okay. Hmm, that's in black. All right, I want to make another line going straight up here and intersect with that. So I'm going to go straight up. Notice it. You see this little rectangle down the bottom? I mean, not a rectangle, it's called a square. That means it's perpendicular, and that's what these things up here call constraints. So this is a perpendicularity constraint. And this means parallel to this. Okay, we gotta get rid of that little piece there. So I'm gonna go to a little haircut thing. I'm gonna give it a haircut, I'm gonna trim it, and I just pick this line. Notice the one that turns purple. I go this side, that side. So I wanna get rid of that side. Purple, cut it. All right, now it's cut. Don't pay attention to warning. All right, this is black. This is what we call constrained. This is blue, which means I can move these around. We don't wanna do that. We wanna constrain these. I'm gonna constrain these with measurements. Sketch dimension, press that. I'm gonna do the diameters. No, I'm gonna do length first, length. Let me get my blueprint out, All right? I'm gonna go from this line to this line, and that's gonna be 0.625, hit enter, All right? I'm gonna go from this line to this line. It doesn't matter where I put these. And that's gonna be 1.182 on the blueprint. And that takes care of that. So notice these are black now. These are locked in. These are not locked in. So I gotta measure from here to here. Click once, make sure it stays blue. But this is a lathe part. So instead of the diameter, which is on the blueprint, we're gonna do some math. So that small diameter is 0 0.750, and I'm gonna use the divide symbol, which is the slash, divided by two, and hit enter, and that divides by two, because we're gonna do radius. All right, we're going to do this one to this one. Click, and if I, for some reason, hit enter right away, and I said, oh, I did the wrong number, double click again, go back in, it's 1.250 divided by 2. Hit enter. That's locked in. This one to this one. And that is 1.625 divided by 2. Hit enter. Did I write that wrong? Yep, that's correct. Finish sketch. All right, that's everything. These are the sketches. If I hit edit sketch, everything comes back. It finished. So this is like, but just this is just a plane. It's not a solid object. So we got origin. That's our origin. I'm going to turn the eyeball on and off. This is our home view tilted. Like I like the home view. It's also known as the isometric view. I'm going to create. You got extrude, revolve, sweep, loft. Got all these things here. We want to do revolve, revolve. All right. Profile. It already selected the profile. But if you if I did that, I can click on this again. There, I got the profile. Now it wants the axis so where we're going to rotate. So I'm going to rotate around that. Boink. 
and it says project axis, new body, one side, 360 degrees, that all looks good. Hit OK. Let it catch up for a second, and now we have a solid object. All right, I like to save things. I got it under untitled. I'm going to do save, but I got to make sure it says you don't have permission to save in this location because I am in the wrong area. I need to go to my machinist file under Pokey. Here we go. And I'm going to call this the, the I2L end cap. And this is my star pupil Pokey. P-O-K-E-Y. Yep. Hit save. Now it's saved. Initiate update. Here we go. And if I go to my my files here, and I go to my machinist directory under Pokey. There it is, end cap. It's updating to the cloud. Updating, updating, updating. And these are other projects Pokey was working on. All right, we'll let that update. I'm going to make the screen bigger by crossing this out. And we we got to put some radiuses in here, what we call fillets. We're going to modify it. I'm going to do fillet, chamfer, shell. So I'm going to do fillet right here for F, which happens to be right there, by the way. All right, I want to do this one and make that. It says on the blueprint that the fillet is 0 0.090. Hit enter. There it is. I've got a radius. I need more. I want one there, I want one there, I want one there, and there. And I can actually move these in and out so I can play with them. I'm going to put right here four edges, point zero nine zero. hit enter. Now they all have fillets. So I'm going to put it on the home base. And a couple of things missing according to the print, and that would be a chamfer on the back and a hole, a threaded hole. It says half inch, 13 UNC. All right, we got to finish the model. All right, I'm going to create a chamfer on this edge here. See, I can play with that. And the blueprint says right here, highlight point zero two five. Hit enter. Okay. Now we got to put a threaded hole in the back. There's, there's a lot of different ways of doing this. This is just one way. I'm going to do, I'm going to create another sketch. I got to change planes now. Now, these are the original planes, but actually I have something to draw on now. So I'm going to pick that as my plane. And I'm back to the sketch menu. And I'm going to create a point. And I'm going to put it right in the middle, right there where it turns blue, hit blue finished sketch. So now I have a location. And now I'm going to use the hole creator. Or I think some people call it the hole wizard, but what is this called? This is hole. All right. We got where are we going? There. And it's got some, it's a pretty big hole there. All right. All right. We got simple Counter bore, counter sink. I'm going to pick counter sink. Hold tap type I got. Simple, clearance, tapped, taper tap. I want tapped. I want thread offset full. I want full. Drill point, yes. All right, now I'm going to start filling this out, but I really want to jump ahead to these helpers right here. We're using, which, what are we using? It. We're using a ANSI Unified Screw Threads. But that's the U.S. standard. Went in the half inch range, 0.5, and then this changes. Now it's starting to give you threads. This is UNS, this is you special. We don't use special, we want coarse, not in national coarse, and the opposite would be not in national fine. So we want the UNC, and the class of fit is going to be 2B, right handed, and going to pick modeled. All right, now I'm going to start filling this out. Depth of thread it says right on the blueprint it says that's one point zero. 
diameter of chamfer is 0.531 and it's 90 degrees, 90 degrees. We're going to leave the drill point as 118. That's the drills we have in the shop. I'm going to hit OK. And now we have model threads. Go back to home base, and that's it. That's all we got to do. I'm going to hit File, Save, OK. And that's it. We've, we've just drawn the I2L end cap, which is part of that assembly, which is part of this assembly right there. All right. Coming up with Cam next next recording.